So here's everything you need to know about the new Face ID feature on the iPhone 10 or X. It's supposed to be 10, but it does say X, doesn't it? So one of the unique features of Face ID is that it actually scans your face, like three-dimensionally scans your face, which is kind of cool because this isn't something that other Android devices will allow or have the technology to do so. And it's going to be game-changing, I think, especially when they port it to laptops. But for me, the questions that I had was how easy is it to set up? And could you set it up with a mask on? And the last question I had was how much would it take for Face ID to fail? Apple goes through a lot of detail in their keynote expressing, you know, there's a one in one million chance that something might happen. Somebody with the same facial features might unlock your phone, which seems crazy to me, but I guess it does happen. But how much does my face have to change in order for Face ID to uh, to fail. In order to get to that point, well, I went and bought some sideburns and a mustache, went and bought some bushy eyebrows, a full-on Jesus beard, a fake nose. Will a mask fool it that looks like a human? And how about infrared light? Now, setting up Face ID is incredibly simple, and I'm actually going to record this entire uh, session on the actual iPhone X so that you can see everything that is happening on that device. Now, Face ID is kind of where Touch ID used to be and can't look at my passcode. So to set up face ID, all you gotta do is go to the set up face ID setting. I'm gonna take off my, and I've got grouty uh, workout hair on my head right now. And all you gotta do is just rotate your face and it just captures it like that. It does one scan, it'll do a second scan. So all you gotta do is do all that and voila. Face ID is set up. So now if I was to power off my iPhone, which stops the uh, screen recording, all I got to do is look at it and my iPhone is now unlocked, which is kind of neat. Turn it on, look at it, and the iPhone is unlocked. Now if I was to step away for a second, and try to, it shows that it is locked and I can't do anything. But if I stand in front of it, it's unlocked and I can use my iPhone. So it's actually very, very quick. What happens if I put my hat back on? Will it work? And we gotta turn it back on and it unlocks. So it hats, doesn't bother it. What happens if I take off my glasses? Now in this look, people think I look like I'm 15 years younger apparently, but still unlocks, still works. Cool. So the next question I had, well, the next thing is, Will a creepy mask, can I set up face ID with a creepy mask? I already tried to do this with Monty, my dog. Spoiler alert, I didn't have a lot of success with that, um, but I'm curious to know if this is gonna work. So I got it, got the uh, face ID or the uh, iPhone X recording. I'll take off my glasses. I'll put on this creepy mask and I'm gonna put my glasses back on because I'm blind as a bat. I have to add in the passcode. Seems silly. Set up face ID and will the creepy mask do it? No, face is obstructed. Maybe because I have my glasses on. Face ID is not available. Set up face ID. Face ID is not available. So this creepy Clark Kent mask will not do a single thing. So if I was to go back and set it up without the mask on. A little lower. Do I have to put my hat back on? This is not working out for the iPhone X. Very, very, I'm very frustrated right now. So that worked. Well, we're gonna try the mask again. Set up face ID. Get started. Face is obstructed. Are you sure about that, Apple? Is my face truly obstructed? That's kind of cool. So if I just take my face off, so I'm guessing my light from the uh, box up here isn't working out very well. So we set up Face ID again. And if you want to get rid of Face ID, it's all very, very simple. All you got to do is reset Face ID and now I have to go do it all over again.
So the next question is how much do I have to change the shape of my face in order for Face ID to fail? So if I was to do it right now, I look at it, my device becomes unlocked. What happens if I look at it and I puff up my cheeks? That failed. That open unlocked it. So <gasps> puffing up your cheeks, that kind of fails. So that's kind of good to know. Blow out your cheeks, face ID fails. So let's uh, go put some stuff on my face. First up, we got bushy eyebrows. These stick on using some sort of 3M adhesive. That makes me look like a really ugly mofo. So, no, oh, that one's not, there we go. So this is gonna be indicative of me when I'm, I'm gonna say 75 years old. I'm gonna look like this till I'm 75, but then the moment I turn 75, like everything is just gonna explode and I'm just gonna look like a dirty Asian mop. Is that racist? All right. So, face ID. Eyebrows does not work. So these big bushy eyebrows is causing face ID to fail. But if I was to take them off, it unlocks. So don't grow out your eyebrows. All right, next up, we've got these ridiculous looking sideburns. So I am guessing that this mustache is gonna cause it to fail. The sideburns, maybe not. So I'm gonna do them, I'll do them separately. One of the things I always wanted growing up was to be able to grow uh, sideburns. I'm completely unable to. I've got absolutely no hair on my body. Like everything is just smooth, which is great because I look incredible without my shirt on, but everything else <laughs> really wants sideburns. Facial hair, I wish I could grow a beard. One of the, uh, things in my life that I wish I could do was grow a beard. Now, I feel like I'm Wolverine, Logan. Got these bushy, bushy, swing. All right, so I've got these uh, sideburns on. Let's see if uh, my iPhone X recognizes me. So sideburns, so if you grow out your sideburns, you can definitely uh, unlock your iPhone X. Let's try it one more time. Side profile, still unlocks, cool. What happens if I put this really fake Super Mario looking mustache on my face? Will it fail? That is not a good look for me. I look like I should be on the ship in 1870, sailing, fighting pirates. Totally didn't work. Nope. Take off mustache. And on the locks. So, huh. eyebrows didn't work. Mustache doesn't work. What else do we got? Apparently, I'm getting the sense that it doesn't take a lot to cause this to fail. What happens if I put on my Darth Vader mask? It doesn't even prompt, it doesn't even tell me that like you're attempting to unlock it. It doesn't work whatsoever. What else do we got? I've got this gigantic Jesus beard. Let's try this monstrosity out. This looks gross. Like it comes in this netting, which is kind of grody. I totally got bamboozled. I thought I was getting this entire thing. I just got the beard. That sucks. You know, if I was to live out in the uh, boonies for 40 years, there's no way this would happen. Like, I can't grow facial hair. None of this would happen. <laughs> All right, let's see if uh, this works. Does not work. Does not work. Right, take off my beard. Ow. That unlocks. So, basically, Sideburns works? Anything on my face doesn't seem to work very well. Oh God, there's hair everywhere. All right, 
Last but not least is normal nose. <laughs> like that's what it's called, normal nose. And it's basically a latex nose that just goes on like so. I don't even think I need to put the glue on. Let's try it. It doesn't even register that I'm trying to, it doesn't even register that I'm trying to unlock. Oh, there we go. So if I take my nose off, totally works. Put my nose back on. This does not smell good. Totally doesn't work. So what is the thing that we can take from all of this? Um, I'm not quite sure. So stuff on the side of my face didn't seem to bother it. Stuff on top of my head didn't seem to bother it. But changing your facial features or puffy cheeks, that didn't work very well. And also the beard, any sort of mustache and the full on beard didn't work. So all in all, I would probably think it's pretty smart. I would say I'm not quite sure else what I'm not quite sure what else to do. I was going to paint my face blue like an avatar alien, but I don't think the color is going to change a bunch. Oh, right. The last one is the uh, infrared bulb. It's going to go dark because right now, I don't actually know if the infrared, oh no, the infrared is going. So one of these bulbs, these bulbs are really good for your smart home security systems. So I've got another channel that just focuses on smart home reviews. And so the cool thing about this is that you can put it up on your porch and you can have the lights off, but since it's an infrared light, it's still emitting infrared frequencies. And so a lot of the smart home cameras have infrared bulbs and infrared sensors. So it basically extends the uh, range of your uh, Nest Cams, your Nest Cam IQs, your D-Link Omnas. So these bulbs, it's a hundred bucks. It's by no means a cheap bulb, but it's pretty neat. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna turn everything off so it's kind of dark. And I'm gonna take my iPhone X. That light's off, everything's off. I'm gonna turn this light off and it still uh, unlocks, which is kind of cool. So the last thing I really want to know is the distance. So this is actually constrained by how far I can push this button. So my full extended arm length, I cannot unlock the uh, iPhone X. So this is the distance right here from the camera to my face. You guys recognize what this tape measure is from? It's from Ikea. So, 26 centimeters or 66 centimeters. So anything, that about, that's about the maximum range for the uh, face ID, which is kind of, like that's not gonna be an issue for most people because you're not gonna be unlocking your phone from really far away. You're gonna be unlocking your phone from a very normal looking distance like this. So 66 centimeters is probably the farthest away. Like this would be really awkward. Can I unlock it with my eyes closed? One eye? Other eye? Does it have to be two eyes? Yeah. Two eyes, not one eye, so. So that's all I got for this video. Give it a thumbs up if you found it useful. Uh, give it a thumbs down if you think it should be an iPhone X and an iPhone X. <laughs> um, I've got a ton of other iPhone X videos coming. Uh, I've got to check out my unboxing where I absolutely fail, as well as me trying to get Monty to set up his face on Face ID on this iPhone X. So those are two uh, videos that are worth watching. I'm definitely gonna try to break this as well as do camera comparison and speed tests over the next couple of days. So lots of stuff for you to watch about the iPhone X.